Well, hello everyone. This is the teaser video for this coming Sunday, November 27th, the first Sunday of Advent. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Hopefully you were able to spend time with your family, ate more than you should have eaten, enjoyed your whatever desserts, pumpkin pie. As you guys know, I love Thanksgiving. I, some of my favorite foods. So uh, hopefully everyone enjoyed Thanksgiving. And we are kicking off the Advent season. So the four Sundays of Advent, I'm going to actually do the, the the themes and depending on how you look them up there's different themes different symbols and this year i'm doing uh, i guess it would be a pretty traditional pretty standard i'm doing hope peace joy love uh, for the four sundays of advents um i've done some other um themes i've done themes that talk about the candles and the colors of the candles and the names of the candles um if you really want a, a challenge go and look up the names of the candles and and what they mean and you'll see the significance of the colors um, if you do blue or purple and the pink and the white and Christmas Eve is uh, the white candle the Christ candle um, but I'm doing the 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 can the pretty standard themes hope peace joy love and so the first Sunday of Advent will be hope and I'll be looking at Romans 8 chapter 8 verses 22 to 25 so Romans chapter 8 verses 22 to 25 and we'll be looking at this theme of hope. And I, basically, I'm just going to be comparing hope um, to what it meant to the Jews at the time. Um, I think a lot of you will pretty much understand that. And then what does that, how does that pertain to us? And you will we'll realize as I go through and explain that our hope is very similar to the hope that the Jews had. But our hope is founded on more information we were able to look back and see what jesus accomplished and and did and uh, the prophecies he fulfilled the promises that he made and then how those promises um, come true and how that really should help us as we look at our hope down the road but um like i said i like to give you guys challenges and so i would look ask you know you know i'm doing hope peace joy love um, see how many other different themes you can find out that go for these Sundays of Advent. I gave you some hints with the, you could do one on the candles and the colors. You can do one on the different names of the candles. Um, I think I did the candles, the names of the candles a couple years ago. Um, if you remember that, that might be a, a little easier for you. It, it just helps make the Advent season come complete. Um, if you do the same thing over and over again, you're just reinforcing the same story. Um, I'm not sure who's doing the Advent readings or the lighting of the candle. That's usually handled by uh, Wayne and, and Bob. But um, if you're doing the Advent reading, um, have an understanding what the Advent reading means and what that Sunday means or what this Sunday means. Um, this is... Uh, Probably the second most important season. Uh, I, I personally feel Easter is definitely more significant in our Christian faith and our and our and our our religion than Christmas. Um, but this is a time that we reflect, we we think back. It is also it's at the end of the year, um, and people are starting to look toward the new year and goals and everything. So again, Romans eight. 22 to 25 the theme is hope see what maybe see what hope you get out of this passage or see if you wonder how i get hope out of this passage but again you can take this advent season to, to study up on the four sundays of advent and the different things they're known by again like i said colors of candles the names of the candles um other themes besides hope peace joy and love which is the standard one i look forward to seeing everyone and again, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and I look forward to seeing you. Until then, be safe and take care.